It's a landmark in the national capital, but like other landmarks here, it's showing its age. The Supreme Court of Canada is in dire need of a facelift. CBC News has learned the federal government is considering a major renovation and searching for a temporary home for the court for at least five years. Internal government documents warn infrastructure and structural work will be complex, disruptive and noisy. Hazardous substances such as asbestos are suspected within walls and ceiling spaces. The documents point out other problems as well. Windows in poor condition, mechanical and electrical systems that are well past their expected life cycles. Even if a building is well maintained, uh, we're, we're looking here at uh, you know, getting on for 80 years since this building was constructed. David Jeans has studied Ottawa's architectural history. To him, the Supreme Court is one of this city's gems. Queen Elizabeth, who later became the Queen Mother, laid the cornerstone during a royal visit in 1939. Since then, decisions have been handed down here that have shaped the lives of all Canadians. Architecturally, this is a building meant to inspire awe and respect, but the government documents warn it needs an upgrade, pointing out, among other things, the court's steel frame was not designed to withstand an earthquake. If there was a significant earthquake, this whole building could collapse around us. Parliament Hill is already in the midst of a $3 billion overhaul. Renovating centre block could take a decade. Work is well underway on temporary homes for the House of Commons and Senate. For now, the government is saying little about its plans for the Supreme Court. The documents don't reveal when work would begin or how much it would cost. Tom Perry, CBC News, Ottawa.